Example 46.1. Air is heated in a closed glass bottle. The heat energy added to the air is 2 times 10 to the 4 joules. Find the change in internal energy of the gas. Now what are we looking for in this problem? We're looking for the change in the internal energy. That's delta U. And there are a couple of equations that help us. One is the first law of thermodynamics. The second is one that relates things to the ideal gas. Delta U is 3 halves NR delta T. Now in this problem, they say something to us about the heat energy added to the air. That's going to be the Q into, so I bet that the first law is going to be the thing that we want to focus on. They tell us the heat energy is 2 times 10 to the 4 joules. That's a positive number. That is the heat that's flowing into the gas. I'm adding heat. I'm adding energy to the gas from the surroundings. Now they tell me that I have a closed glass bottle. You could think of this as a capped Pepsi bottle if you want to. This bottle cannot change its volume. Gas cannot enter. Gas cannot leave. Whatever happens in this bottle is going to happen at that particular volume. If the container can't change its volume, that means that delta V is equal to zero. And that's a further implication, tells us something about what work can be done in this situation, because in this case, since the work that's done by the gas is P delta V, but delta V is equal to zero, then that must also be equal to zero. And since the work that's done on the system is equal to the negative of the work that's done by the system, then that also must be zero. So now I have numbers for the work that's done on and the heat that flows into. Let me put those numbers together in the first law of thermodynamics. When I substitute in the numbers and I add them together, then what I get is that the change in the internal energy is positive 2 times 10 to the 4 joules. And that makes sense. If I heat the gas, the gas becomes more energetic. When it becomes more energetic, then that means the particles of the gas have more kinetic energy, so the internal energy will have increased, and that increase is given by this positive number. Let's go to the next example. A piston does 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules of work in raising the pressure on a fixed quantity of air in a cylinder. The process occurs while the temperature of the air in the cylinder is held constant. Find the heat transferred to or from the air. What are we looking for in this problem? We're trying to find the heat transferred, and they say to or from the air. So we're trying to find Q, and we're trying to determine whether Q is going to be a positive number, Q into is positive, or Q out of is positive because whichever one is the positive number will tell us which way that the heat is flowing. So we're looking for Q. Let's say Q into or Q out of, whichever one is the positive number. Now what do they tell us? We're told that a piston does 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules worth of work. Now what this means is that the piston is moving downward in our diagram of the cylinder that we drew before. This means that the final volume is smaller than the initial volume, so that the change in volume, V final minus V initial, is going to be a negative value. If you think about the work that's done by the gas being the pressure times the change in the volume, then that means that this work that's done by the gas is a negative number. It's smaller than zero. And that makes sense. We're told that the piston does the work, and the implication is, is that it's doing work on the gas. So the work that's done on the gas is equal to plus 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules. They say the process occurs while the temperature of the air is held constant. Big deal. So what? Well, here's the so what. Since delta U is equal to 3 halves in R delta T, and we have a constant temperature, which means that delta T, the change in temperature, is equal to zero, then that means that the change in the internal energy is also equal to zero. So now I know something about the work that's done on. I know something about the change in the internal energy, 
and I'm looking for something about the heat. What relates those things together? The thing that relates those things together is the first law of thermodynamics. The change in the internal energy is equal to the heat that flows into the gas plus the work that's done on the gas. And now I know all those numbers except Q into. So let's substitute them in. Zero is equal to Q into plus a positive 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules. So now let's solve that equation for Q into. Q into is equal to negative 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules, which means that Q out of, which is the negative of that, is equal to positive 2.5 times 10 to the 6 joules. Since heat left the gas, Q out of is a positive number, then what that tells us is that heat was transferred from the air to the surroundings during this process. That's the second example. Now let's go to the third. Example 46.3. A confined gas with a movable piston is heated. If 3,500 joules of heat are added to the gas and the internal energy of the gas is increased by 1,200 joules, determine the work performed by or on the gas. Did the volume of the gas increase or decrease? This is another first law problem. They tell us that we've got heat added to the gas, and they tell us that we have a change in the internal energy of the gas. So let's write down the first law of thermodynamics. I'm told that 3,500 joules of heat are added to the gas, so Q into is equal to positive 3,500. We're told that the internal energy increased by 1,200 joules, so delta U is equal to positive 1,200. Now we're looking for the work. So let's substitute these numbers into the first law of thermodynamics and figure out what the work done on the gas is. 1,200 is 3,500 plus the work on. So now let's subtract 3,500 from both sides. I find that the work done on the gas is negative 2,300 joules. And since the work that's done by the gas is the negative of the work that's done on the gas, then the work done by the gas is positive 2,300 joules. Since the work that's done by is a positive number, then what that means is that the work was performed by the gas. Now, what about the volume? Did the volume of the gas increase or did it decrease? Well, since we know that the work that's done by the gas is equal to the pressure times the change in volume, the pressure is always a positive number. So that means in order to get a positive number for the work that's done by the gas, that means that the G delta V also has to be a positive number. So that means that the volume of the gas must have increased. So now let's recap. We have talked about work. We have talked about heat. We've talked about the first law of thermodynamics. We've written down several important equations, and we've solved some numerical problems. As you know, the problems will become more difficult, but this is a starting point for us. For now, that's it.